help if you feel like it. Although it's kind of to just actually a little bit satisfying to just watch. But he looks like he's gonna die. He he died for me on the first enemy. <laughs> 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 and then he just lied there. <laughs> yeah. But, he um uh, Yeah. He usually for me gets to the three enemies because he plays through the same levels that you play through as a person. So I I love what he just did. He um oh there he died. So we'll go we'll go save him. Go we'll resurrect him. him. <laughs> so now it's two turners against everybody else. Well that's fair. <laughs> <laughs> Um, but he, I love it that he does the, the sort of jumping kick, um, and you see him flip around and that's it. We yeah. have now beaten the level. Twice. Twice. It's almost like co-op has been implemented. It's the first version of multiplayer. Um, so what what, he's, <laughs> what he has done with Turner is made him jump all the time, and uh, that makes him do the jump kick attack, which is yes. obviously more the most effective attack in the game right now, I'd say. Yep, so it, like that, it's easy for him to actually kill you if you switch to somebody else. Yeah. So if you want hard battles, that's what you can do, man. <laughs> <laughs> yes, and they actually are pretty... It's pretty easy to die from him. <laughs> Much easier than I would first think it would be. Yeah. It's epic, though. Incredibly <laughs> epic. So yeah, the, uh, that's um, um, Zeramuli's Arena mod. I uh, suggest everyone to check it out if they want to, if they have the game, because... Yeah, it's the most advanced mod so far, I'd say, so... It's really a milestone in, in the overgrowth modding scene. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> So I'm going to switch back to my stream now. Okay. Poof. And we're back right here. Okay, so next up we have a Cheshire's Compound 6 level update. Let's take a look at this. So I'm going to update to this level. Let's see. He has some screenshots here actually showing it. Uh, because not, uh, not a whole lot has changed since last. Since last. He added the uh, checkpoints to the tower. That it, that yes. Yes. And uh, he's uh, still working on the level, so it's still going to Im be improved. The checkpoints aren't uh, uh, as well implemented as they uh, should be, and he has changed that in his current version, but he just haven't fixed the uploaded it yet, uh, I'm guessing. Right. I think part of it is um, spacing, that, that the spacing for uploads um, is... Uh, let's see, what am I trying to say? that it's easy for for the um, checkpoints to accidentally teleport you to the wrong location if the checkpoint itself is too large. Yes, that makes sense. Um, yeah, so that's something he needs to work on, the checkpoints you sometimes spawn outside of the checkpoints, stuff like that, but uh, yeah, he knows about it and uh, he's going to fix it, so no problem. And right here, as you can see, he has... Um, made a basic layout for the city uh, right here and with... he's actually lost his whole interior um, the original sort of little place that was in there yeah and he's go ahead uh, yeah I was just gonna say that uh, he writes though that he he did save it so it's not lost but uh, yeah so he can just import it again he saved it as a separate level or something, I think, right? Okay. That's what I think he did uh, reading the post list. So I think he writes that he's going to probably put it back in there somewhere. Uh, yeah. Cool, cool. Were you going to say something else? No. Uh, well, he, he said that he put the arena um, in basically the same place that I put it when I <laughs> when I was showing off his level previously on OG Weekly. Yeah, <clears throat> that's nice. <laughs> it was just the best position. Well, it, it just fits there. Yeah. So it's kind of cool. It's the best place ever for an arena. If I had an arena, I would place it right there. <laughs> oh, yeah. So that's that update. It's updated... Uh, 
and uh, you can test it out. Next, we have a um, forum post by a new member called Hubi. And this is an answer to a blog post that was posted a long time ago, but uh, apparently Hubi was reading through the previous blog posts and found the um, game uh, theory blog posts most interesting, if that's the correct term to use. I think it might be. And this blog posts uh, this blog post discusses uh, you know uh, upgrading your character through stats versus upgrading your character through just you being better at the game and uh, which one is more satisfying and so on. And this guy has uh, this guy or gal I guess has written uh, a lot as you can see about this. These are just the two first posts and. Uh, then he goes on in another post here, very long, and uh, another one. And uh, yeah, it's uh, very interesting to read. Uh, I don't rem remember too much about it right now because I read it um, a while ago. But uh, yeah, I suggest you read this. If you're into the blog posts on the uh, on the Wolfire blog, this one is kind of... It's just very interesting to read. It's good at writing and uh, it all makes sense and it makes you think about stuff, so... I can Absolutely. I can recommend. And I think this guy should... I mean, this <laughs> would be a uh, very long blog post. Or it could be split up into more parts and posted on the blog. I don't know. But I think uh, Wolfire, they should just post this on the blog. They should ask him about it and and make him, you know, perhaps add images and stuff like that to make it more interesting and uh, have them post it on the blog. On the and blog. I think they would, too. I think that it's... um. You know, it sort of is a counter argument to some of the things that that was stated in the blog post before, and um, they I think they like showing every side to an issue, so Absolutely. it might be cool. Indeed. So let's hope they do that, so more people can read this stuff. Uh, but until then, I suggest you go here and uh, check it out on your own. Just follow the link in the agenda. Sweet. Next up we have Z Samus Aron 3's uh, Piano Mod release. Let's see, he writes, After looking at some of the cool stuff uh, Zeramulis has posted lately, yes, he has been very active, this Zeramulis guy made lots of very awesome stuff, I decided to mess around and make something. After getting some suggestions on the IRC, I decided to work on creating an in-game piano. So if you step on a key, it will play the corresponding note. I've only set up one octave for of the piano. If you want to create your own music setup, simply load one of the note objects located in the data uh, object piano folder. I've created a little something to show how this could be useful. Try loading up my custom level and running along uh, the gray blocks next to the piano. So let's try this one out. This was actually the level I had loaded before. So here's the piano part. You just jump on the keys. And it plays the note. You don't even need to jump, actually, you can just run on them. Awesome stuff. It's it's really awesome. Yeah. I mean <laughs> I right away I um, feel like oh I want to play try to play this song and this stuff. No, I want to try to play this song, but I shouldn't uh, waste <laughs> too much time doing that. You should check this out because it's a really awesome mod. And uh, before uh, we're done with this uh, for now, or I guess maybe you have some more to say about this, Anton, but uh, <laughs> before I'm done uh, of this, I should run over this block so you can hear a nice little melody that you put together. And there we go. Hooray. So, I um, I actually had the opportunity to have lunch with uh, Samusan 3 on Friday. Uh, before, After he first sent me a, a quick demo video of this um, theory, before he actually put it together, and, and I'm going to take credit <laughs> and say that the melody was my idea, but uh, on the long strip. 
Sorry, Aaron. Hope you uh, <laughs> hope you're okay with that. Uh, but it actually shows a, a really interesting mechanic, um, and we we talked about several other ideas that we have for um, maybe using melodic ideas or just uh, blocks in general in the in the level to create maybe some ambience, some mood, or other musical ideas. Um, uh, some other ideas I have uh, in regards to Zeremuli's, uh linear mod kit was I always wanted a way to reach the ending and have something happen. So here, this is my idea, but um, hopefully someone can actually make it happen. If you say reach the end point of a of a of a level, you can have something play like an audio clip say congratulations you have won or um, it would actually be pretty easy I think to also have it trigger one of the videos that um, you can actually have in-game videos play and it would be pretty easy to have some little video p pop up when you reach a certain block and have something happen so I think this shows another cool cool way in addition to or in a similar way to Zeramzuli's, Zeramzuli's uh, however you say his name, <laughs> <laughs> level. You know, other cool things that you could do with the, the game at this point. It's ready to go, you know? Yeah, I, I agree. This, uh, this actually opens up the idea of uh, um, the, uh, the linear level kit. Uh, that's opened up the idea of using that number, that friction number, right? Was using the right. friction uh, on the material to uh, use that in the code, and uh, that opens up just a whole lot of uh, uh, possibilities for modders. That they just needed something, some way to get in there and uh, grab some kind of positional data without with, that you can add in the editor that you don't have to hard code in the script. Right, and this works for very well. I mean, we would want. Uh, of course, something like uh, volumes that you can add, and then when you go into the volume, you can do something in the script. But this is just as good, if not even better than that. Uh, and doing stuff like this, like you can do a whole lot of with this right now. It's just very awesome. I hope people start thinking even more because I'm sure there are lots of really cool stuff you can do with this, uh, just as it is right now. Yep. Uh, and uh, these guys have uh, given me lots of uh, hope for the near future in terms of mods and stuff. Well, I think that I think what it shows is that um, you guys can start modding this game right now. It is ready to mod. You can create levels, you can create checkpoints, you can have characters spawn um, as you reach certain places in the in the level. I think that it would be just as easy you know, on something like Compound 6 to use the arena mod where characters appear. Uh, I think it's based on whether or not a character has died that a next character spawns, but it, I don't see any reason why you couldn't make you reach a point, a block that spawns a character as well. So there's a lot of things you could do with this. Yes, indeed. And uh, I agree. So get out there and start modding. Yes, indeed. You should all do that right now. And someone requested I play this uh, in reverse also, so I'm going to do that, even though that's kind of underwhelming. But here we go. And there you go. <laughs> <laughs> it just sounds like crap. Nothing, nothing to listen to at all. In, in musical terms, they call that retrograde. And... Um... You can actually use that as a developmental technique where, yeah, it's usually a, like a, a B theme or a, or a developmental theme. So, yeah. Cool. I didn't know. But it doesn't turn out good every time, right? I hope. Because otherwise, <laughs> well, I'm just very bad at, at music, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> the thing is, is that you're, you're using a thematic idea that people will subconsciously recognize as being related to the original theme, mm -hmm. uh, whether, they re n whether they consciously realize it or not. And so you can use that maybe as like a, a base to add something else on top of it. Or, um, you know, you could add little flourishes to that. It doesn't always work. 
Um, but it's one technique to to create more ideas from a single.